Well, welcome to the Football Christmas Quiz, and today we are joined by the one and only Big Massive Eric. How are you doing, Eric? Uh, enthused. I'm excited for this. I've watched the first couple of episodes. What's my score mm -hmm. that I need to beat today? Uh, 20 is still the uh, top score with Jackmate, so uh, that's what you're aiming to top, hopefully. So yeah, I think I think that's achievable because you kind of need to... I think you 10, 10 in 10 is key to get in the uh, 20. And then obviously exactly. 5 or 6 on Tic-Tac-Toe. Guess the football, if you can get that early, happy days, more points. But yeah, let's dive in with the first question. Who wants to be a millionaire? And your question is, Eric, which stadium does Rotherham play at? Is it the Washington so Stadium, the this. New York Stadium, the Orlando Stadium, or the Detroit Stadium? Oh my word, it's New York Stadium. <laughs> and that is the correct answer for one point, Eric. Well done. Credit to you for knowing that. Little old Rotherham. No I don't need, stage. I'm not going to act like um, some diehard guy who goes Rotherham home and away. I just customize the stadiums when I start a career mode, make every name Brilliant. correct. I'm that sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's. I don't know why, why is it called the New York Stadium when it's in... I mean, it's kind of in Yorkshire, but oh, I don't that, quite get why it's called the go. New York Stadium. Is um, Rotherham a giant? New York Giants. Oh, oh, hopes the name could bring in investment from New York City or New York Yankees. That's what the owner's done it for. <laughs> That's why he's named it. The there have been City. no offers so far. <laughs> no, no offers so far for the little... You know what, boys? You guys can't stay in one division for more than two consecutive seasons, so we're not going to invest. Yeah. Right, into the next round is a Football Connect, Eric. So I'm going to give you this, and you have to guess the club that all four of these have played for. And the first player I will give you is Adriano, uh, the striker. Oh, my. Because Adriano is quite a bro broad name. I am, I believe, a FIFA Connect world champion as well. So I've got to you are. Live, up, live up to the hype. Is it Parma? It's not Parma. Good little guess to start off with, though. The next player I'll give you is Simon Kiar. I know a few of his clubs, but surely Adriano was not at a couple of these. His route is like Lille, Wolfsburg, AC. Is there something between Lille and AC? Oh, if there is, I'm never going to get that. I'll try Wolfsburg. It's not Wolfsburg. Oh, the next much. player is going to be Diego Perotti. Diego Perotti is a Genoa man, a Roma man. Is it Genoa? It's not Genoa. It's not the reason. We did do a video from Eric, Eric's channel with a tic-tac-toe with Genoa, so that's probably why he said that. Um, so if you guys want to head over there, it's very similar to this in a way. It's like that kind of gorgeous. Yeah, like different five different categories. Challenges. Yeah. So uh, go check that out, guys. It's over on his channel. Very good stuff if you want to test your ball knowledge. Um, but yeah, it's not Genoa. And the final player is Leandro Piredes. What on earth is this? If this, who was the one? Simon, he would not have played in South America. Piredes is. Adriano. Roma, Zenit, PSG, Roma, again. And I don't know where he was before uh, before Roma. Oh, wait, Perotti played for Roma. Is it Roma? It is Roma for one oh, point. Oh, my, my, my old classic. <laughs> yeah, Simon Kiar is actually, like, I didn't even know he was at Roma. Did he have, like, a one-game um, load? Like no, no, he actually had a few games for him. Um, about 30 or 40. Was that, like, uh, for 16, Roma 17? 11 12 at Roma from okay, Wolfsburg yeah, and then went Lil. Yeah, before that, yeah, yeah a little bit tricky. Um, but yeah, Wait. I just had no idea. Is that no idea? But one point for that, Eric. I don't even care. At least it's something cool. Into guess the football in the next round. Obviously, you get five points for the first club and one point for the final club. Let's start off with Marseille. Marseille, Stephen Fletcher. It's not Stephen Fletcher. Oh, that would have been like, great. I like it. I like it. Um, the next club I will give you is Fenerbahce. I can get this, surely. Is it? No. He was Galatasaray. Is it Michi Batshuayi? It's not Michi Batshuayi. Good show, though. The next club I will give you is Bayern Munich. Interesting. Bayern and Marseille. Is it Alton Top? It's not Alton Top. The next club I'll give you... Oh, it's a toss-up here. Do you want the one who played more games for, or the more recent? Knock yourself out. Whatever I'll, you fancy. I'll give you Al Nassar next, then. Hmm. Is it Willy Sanyol? It's not Willy Sanyol. And the final club is VFL Wolfsburg. I'm just picturing that 11. Oh, there's like Otavio. Lou. Oh, Luis Gustavo. 
That's the one. It is Lucia Gustavo for one point, well done, Eric. A little bit tricky, but, you know, got to, got to give you the tricky ones, I guess. Fair enough. <laughs> no, that's a very good one. I should have remembered him from, I remember when Ronaldo first signed, I was intrigued by all these, like, random players that had, like, Ospina and him and stuff. Yeah, just just a nice career path, I guess. Just going all all around the world. Going into the next round, which is tic tac toe. The African Cup of Nations. You you can go as tricky as you want, Eric. You know, you, I mean, you get the three bonus points we'll if you get that. through in a row. But yeah, it's, it's it's a perfectly fine start. I will go for Everton. Please. Wolfsburg. Hmm. Let me go for a bit of anyone from the Turkish league. I'll do played under. Let's go Don Unai. Unai Emery. And I'll end off with let's go for anyone who's won Syria title. You get to start, Eric. What would you like? Go so Wolfsburg and Turkish league. We'll go with Vout Veghorst. Really, I'm really glad you said Weghorst because that's the one I wanted. <laughs> Um, let's go, uh, Everton AFCON winner, Samuel Eto. I'll go AFCON winner in the Turkish league, uh, Islam Slimani. I think I do know one for Pep, uh, Emery in Turkish league, Nicholas Pepe. Basically Pep. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to go for. Oh, so you mm. confuse the word Pep with, or Pepe with Pep, not Emery with Pep. No, I was trying to say, I play, played <laughs> Would have been more Pepe appropriate. And, yeah, yeah. I'll go Wolfsburg, Syria title, Ivan Perisic. Very nice. Everton, Wolfsburg then. I swear, oh no, you was Leverkusen. Oh, I stumped me here, Eric. If you, if you know this, then you might have the three in a row. But That's at the same time, for. yeah. I mean, you get one, two, three, four, four yeah, plus seven, yeah. So. Um, ooh, do, 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 do. Yeah, honestly, it's like Mustafi was there. That's the only like German I could think of Everton. I don't know why, but I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say Royston Drenther and just hope he uh played for Wolfsburg. Never played him in a Bundesliga, I don't think. No, that doesn't work out. So chance for you to get Ooh. the three in a row. But you know one. I need to think of one. Brilliant. I, I had all this like I had this association of Everton Wolfsburg, like Divock Origi was there, he always scores against Everton, but obviously not. And I remember they played against each other way back in the day in the Europa League, but who would mm -hmm. have played for both? No, I can't pin any of them down. I'll go with Thomas Hitzelsperger. He's German, so there's a slight chance he would have played for Wolfsburg. I think he was... Yeah, Stuttgart. Oh, and Wolfsburg. There we go. He does work. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, get in. <laughs> Der Hammer. Pulled, That's what they call pulled, him. Pulled that out of the bag. Literally seven, six games for Wolfsburg, then seven games for Everton. The, yep, uh, we the knew that. German. We Lovely. knew that. Yeah, yeah. On loan, the best thing about his career is being on loan at Chesterfield. So he's been to Derbyshire. That's the, that's the lovely thing about Hitzelberg. <laughs> does uh, does mean you miss out on the other points in the board, but I guess like getting the three in a row is more than getting the points anyway. So uh, obviously that oh, puts you on I to. Yeah, oh, I should have just stat padded because yeah, there's no maybe. way, no way you're pulling Hitzelberg out. No, I don't Can't think I would have said that. Yeah, well. Um, but yeah, like Emery Everton would be a bit of Walcott. It will be, yeah. Or uh, no, Walcott didn't play. Did he not? He'd already gone. Ah, the will be would be then. one. Yeah. Syria title and Emery. Aaron Ramsey. Yeah. And Syria. Fode, Fode Balo Torre. I think he won it with Milan. And with Senegal. Sure. Lovely. That's that's hopefully works. Let me just into the final round then, Eric. You are on ten points right now. So you can match Jackmate's score if you get ten points in the tenable. And I think you could probably do this. I've got a bit of an interesting category here. Uh and what I'd like you to name me are ten football managers that were never professional footballers. Okay. So you gotta think outside the box a little bit. I like that. But yeah. I think it's ten oh, still. That is mm hmm Yeah, that's really I'll be I'll be nice with the like you know kind of career if if they've got like one club but not really got into it if that makes sense. Okay, I do have one though that mm -hmm. fully fits the criteria. Will yep. still, will still I think is tenable for sure. He's like thirty three now, isn't he? Thirty one, yeah. and he's he's not had a career at all. No, that uh, we all know cut. the story. Lovely, yeah, yeah. Gets fined okay, every I'll day. Take that. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm gonna yeah. try Julian Nagelsmann. Nagelsmann. I know that he must have been a player to some extent, but mm. the fact he was coaching Hoffenheim at like 28 or 29 makes me think. Julian Nagelsmann is tenable. Surely He's got zero perfect. appearances for Augsburg or Munich. Uh, 1860, Ooh. that is. Can we say like under 50 appearances in their senior career? I think that's a fair because you're sure. not really like, for example, Mourinho's got 94 appearances for clubs in his senior career. But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know how illustrious of a playing career this man had, but uh, try um, Bert van Marwijk. He was the Dutch manager in 2010. I have no van. previous thought of him being a pro. Unfortunately, he's played lots of games, actually. <laughs> oh. he's, got, he's got about 400 games in his career for go-ahead Eagles and AZ and a few others. But yeah, that's not Fair terrible. So there's, there's your first life gone. I think worth having a punt, though, with some of them. Frank, would you have had a career? Probably. Paul Heckingbottom. Is he a player? Is that Danny Higginbottom? Rob Edwards. I'll try Rob Edwards from Luton Town. Rob Edwards, I think, I think, I feel like he did have a career. Yeah, he had quite a decent, he played for Derby, Rob Edwards, <laughs> 11 games. Um, yeah, he played 100 games for Wolves, 59 for Blackpool, so that's his second life Fair. gone. Unfortunately, Loved Eric. a bit of orange, didn't he? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I've, I've got to try them then. I'll go with, I'll go with Arsene Wenger. Venga, because mm. I, mean, I know he does have the, like those games, yeah. but if it's under fifty, it was I, like I, Nash. It was the fifth level of French football, so I think I think I'll give okay. You there's no awesome way he's making Wenger. enough money to to do that full time. Let's let's go put Wenger on. I'll be leading okay. with Wenger. He's got, thank you. He's only got sixty seven in fairness, but like yeah, it's yeah. But that's definitely not like professional. Like he's got no. to. Be I think he did like eleven for Strasbourg, where he would have been paid a decent, but not. Phenomenal, yeah. Yeah. Try Otmar Hitzvelt. Otmar Hitzvelt. Former Germany. Austria. Switzerland. Uh, unfortunately, he's played quite a few games, Eric. But ah. lots of games in his career. Um, yeah, so that's your third life. So now it's it's pure gambling now. Whether you want to okay. carry on. Oh, I am still in it. Yeah. I'll try uh, the. Former Canadian manager, John Herdman. John. I think he was coaching the women's team when he was kind of young, maybe like early 30s. So, Yeah, John Herdman was... works. That's a, that's a good yes. point. Yes, okay, good. Get an extra point. Good, good, good. Be very careful now. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try Paul Clement. I don't think There we go. It. Paul Clement I was is thinking, the one I was, I was looking at his... Mm -hmm. I think I was looking at his Wikipedia a couple weeks ago. Okay, that's good. Do we have five? Is that five? That's five for you. Okay, we can climb this line. I just need to be very strategic. No punts. Let's. You, you know play. what? I have my feelings that Ralph Ragnick was not much of a player. Ralph so I'll go Ralph Ragnick. Ragnick. Oh, the club he played for dissolved in 2012. Do you know what? I'll give you Ralph Ragnick because he's got he's got a few games, but the team he played for. What's it called? Hilenbron. That's what I mean. You no, don't know. I feel like if you if you've seen there's you know there's no real there's a couple like England. Tasmania Berlin and stuff that are like you went right, to but... England for a year to play for Southwick. Oh come on! But it, which is come like on. stupidly low. <laughs> come on, you gotta period. give me this. I'll give you. You gotta give me this. Give you Ralph. I think as long as there's not like a massive team on their thingy. Yeah. I think I kind of have to. I'll try. Hans Dieter Flick. Hans. Dieter Fleck. Hansi Fleck to the uh, common. Ooh, Eric. That's a shame. No, what, cl a, what clubs he got? 104 games for Bayern Munich. Oh, oh that is, a, that is very a big, respectable. Yeah, that's, you've, you've disrespected uh, Hansi Flick there. Um, oh, I mean. Human. I think I think I'll keep your points, Eric, because that was a tricky category. But we'll we'll cut no, cash you out can, there. You can you can no, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep your points because that puts you on to one, two, three, four, five, six, seventeen points anyway. So it's not like 
you're going to be top anyway. Um, and it's a respectable scoreline. Puts you with James Alcott and uh, Joe Tomlinson. So, it's a, oh, there's some brilliant. Some good. We'll yeah, that. yeah. I think I've gone quite. I feel like it's one of those though that this category is quite debatable on what would you count as. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's like it's a very tough one. So I give you, I give you the extra life for the sake of it. You know, it's it's. Uh, because I think some of those names we could debate either way whether they were players or not. Yeah, but fair. Fair enough. Uh, puts you on to 17 for the episode, which is a who nice was respectable. The, who was the one in the Premier League? Uh, uh, Thomas Frank. He said him twice <sighs> as well. That's the clip. <laughs> but, but I was never between him and Marco yeah. Silva, but um, I wasn't going to risk it. Marco Silva had quite a bit in the Serie A. Uh, no, I should sorry, know that. My last name's Frank. Yeah, Marco Silva played quite a bit in uh, the Portuguese League. Uh, De Servi played quite a bit in Italy. I don't think there's anyone else off the top of my head um, that you could have said in the Premier League. So it's a tricky one, but yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of answers that you guys can uh, suggest in the comments. Well, fair push play, on 17 play. points, Eric. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's we'll episode. Make sure you do check out the episode we did over on Eric's channel, which is very similar to this in a way, um, in terms of the ball knowledge questioning. And we'll catch you all tomorrow for another episode.